Okay, what you're looking at here is a Kohler 20 RESAL generator. This is as the machine would look sitting outside the customer's house during a power outage. After about 24 hours of runtime, this machine should have the oil checked. In order to do that, the customer would have to go out to the machine and open the lid of the, on the top of the machine. The way to do this is insert the hexagonal key into the latch mechanism and twist to the left and you'll see the top open up. It hinges. It will stay in place. So now, the machine is actually running if we were during a power outage condition. So the customer would want to come over to this panel here. This is the actual control panel of the generator. This is the circuit breaker. The first thing the customer would want to do is disconnect the load from the generator. They would do this by shutting off the circuit breaker. Just like that. What that would do is that would break the load from the machine so they would, the house would no longer be under generator power. Technically it would be in the dark at that point. So now the customer would want to go to the control panel which would be in the auto position. This machine is not in the auto position because it's obviously not running. They would want to put it into the off position which it actually currently is in. So they would press that, the machine would shut down. The next thing the customer would want to do is walk over to the dipstick on the generator. The dipstick would be pulled out and wiped clean the first time. So now, we'd insert the dipstick again and get a fresh reading now that the oil has settled to the bottom. Now it may be hard to see, but there is a mark at the top of the dipstick here that shows the oil level being full. You can see the sheen of the oil. Um, this machine is completely full with oil and there's no reason to add oil. If there was a reason to add oil, if it was below the level, we would have to take one more step. We would have to expose the oil fill, which is that yellow cap right there. We would remove that yellow cap, we would insert a funnel, and we would install 5W30 synthetic oil and adding a little bit at a time until the dipstick level was correct. So the reverse procedure once this has all been completed is we're going to want to first start the machine back up. In order to do that we're going to put it to auto which is immediately going to make the machine start. It'll come up to speed. Once it's up to speed, probably say a count to five, you're going to re-energize re the circuit breaker which will then turn the lights back on in the house. At this point, you're safe to close up the machine. And that is how to check oil on a 20 kW Kohler generator.